we've got it here. This is yeah. the this is the perfect <laughs> team now. Welcome to Island Influencers, where we share stories of successful business owners, experienced professionals, entrepreneurs, and community leaders based or with influence in the Isle of Man. This podcast is brought to you by Thornton Chartered Financial Planners, because great financial planning has the power to change your life. Now, here's your host, Chartered Financial Planner, Sharon Sutton. Have you ever wondered if you'd be happier and healthier eating more plants? Well, Josh and Ali, who are owners of Veg and Vitality, did too. After taking the leap and realising you could lose weight, feel more energised and help save the planet all at once, they set out on a journey to share this great feeling. They've teamed up to bring the Isle of Man community the flavours they want and the convenience they need. Their goal is to prove the best tasting food is in fact grown in the ground. Chef Ali handcrafts dishes and Josh sends them straight to our doors. All of their ingredients are sourced locally. And as we all know, our planet is precious. So they do the absolute best to keep all packaging as eco-friendly as possible. Here's this week's conversation with Josh and Ali in episode 51 of Island Influencers. Thanks so much for coming on to Island Influencers. I'm thrilled to actually have you on the program, having experienced your food and delivery from Veg and Vitality. Very good it was too during during the most recent lockdown. So I was just wondering, you know, for the benefit of our listeners, if you could tell us how two lads have, have set up in this really inspirational business. How did you get to where you are? Where have you come oh. from, in other words? Yeah, so it um, all started in Manchester. I was doing a degree in music production. Ali's been a friend of mine for about 20 years, but I hadn't seen him for a long time. He just so happened to decide to come and see me the night before uh, we went into lockdown, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, and basically we ended up, instead of staying one night, he stayed like three, four months, was it? Yeah, three and a half months. Three and a half months, yeah. Uh, and in that time, you know, we really got thinking and thought about what we could do. Um, I knew that, you know, there wasn't very many options here on the Isle of Man. There was a lot of options in Manchester. I'd been plant-based for about five years, so I knew partnered with his sort of chef experience, we could really do something here. Yeah, so, so tell me a bit about, about, about that. Are you both from the island originally? No, I moved here when I was about 13, um, and Ali's been here. Oh, since it? last July, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, so you moved over um, just, just to do this business? Yeah, really? pretty much with Josh, yeah, just started the business, yeah. Yeah, yeah fantastic. <laughs> so you mentioned that you'd been plant-based already for for five years yes so correct. so tell me what 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 drove your decision to to go that way um i had a lot of health issues sort of like chronic ibs acne problems sleeping lots of aches and pains uh, you know i tried different medication lots of different things nothing seemed to work and then i just happened to get onto sort of the plant base because one of my friends um was telling me about it i thought i'd give it a try did a bit of research and then you know, about two weeks into trying it, all my issues went away and um, I felt amazing. And I've, I've never been back since then, to be honest. I couldn't. I just felt too good. <laughs> Gosh. So that must be what, like six years now? Yeah. Knocking on six years. Yeah. 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 And what about you, Ali? Because I, I presume when you met Josh, you were yeah, an omnivore yeah, like I myself. <laughs> no, I was uh, eating meat, to be honest. When I, met, I was eating meat still and all the rest of that. I wasn't on the diet yet. But after living with Josh for a bit, I uh, well, being the chef, I didn't want him in my kitchen, so I was meals and I was eating them with him. And after about a month of doing it, the difference I could feel in my my own health, to be honest, and my own energy levels and all that kind of thing was just through the roof, completely different. And the way you lost your weight as well. Yeah, exactly. Crazy, I dropped about two stone in that time as well, and I just thought, well, there's obviously something to this. I'm going to stick with it. Gosh. So, what's your background? Where what did you where where did you I don't know where did you come from and what what, what sort of chef school did you go to sort of thing. <laughs> Right, yeah, I'm, well, West Yorkshire lad, we grew up sort of, well, both of us grew up just in between Leeds and Bradford, and uh, yeah, went to Wakefield College to do my, my catering, and I've worked all around the industry, really, everything from takeaways and bakeries right through to Michelin Star. I was head chef, won a few awards of my own, and yeah, decided to sort of put it to use for my own business now, so. Golly. So, so, so you came over, leap of faith, came to the Isle of Man, so when did you, when did you both come back? <laughs> And we both came back, I think it was last August. Right. Yeah. Well, last July. Yeah. But we hadn't seen each other in years because we grew up together in Leeds. But obviously, you know, I moved to the island, so we've kind of lost contact for a while. Oh, uh, so you're childhood friends then, really? Oh, yeah, we're childhood friends, yeah. yeah. Since about 10 years old. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and then, just because I was in Manchester at the time and he was in Leeds, I said, well, why don't you come? You know, obviously his job was a bit like that at the time, wasn't it, with, yeah, with COVID, COVID hitting and stuff. So I said, why don't yeah. you? Yeah, it's a bit tough. Couple of nights, 
and then yeah, that's how it all started. It's quite um, yeah. quite amazing, really, how it all came around. So you came back in August. What, what happened? What happened then? But you deliberately came back to start the business. In, Absolutely, in yeah. We had the yeah. business plan sorted. Yeah, time, um, it took a bit of convincing from me, but I said, you know, if you trust me after all these years, <laughs> I, I think we can do something with this. So yeah, we did the business plan, did some research, um, and yeah, come back and sort of. I think he realised for himself. He realised that there wasn't really many options here at this yeah. point, and he thought, well. Uh, I think you came over. Did you work at the Forge for a bit? Just to yeah, get over I did. It? Just yeah. When I came over, finding my feet a little bit, and then uh, it was time to sort of quit the job and take the plunge, wasn't it? It was, yeah. All or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you go about that? Yeah, well, he definitely enjoyed me testing the menu out on him, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. I think just because um, I'd been plant based for so many years, you know. I've, in everywhere that you could poss- possibly imagine, sort of Manchester, here on the island. Um, and after tasting his food and sort of what he could come up with, I just knew we had something. It, it, I just knew it. Um, so from that point, we sort of, well, created the website. A good friend of ours helped us with that. Um, yeah, it's very smart too. I had a nice trip around that this morning. It's 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 a really smart website. Thanks very much. Yeah, I just we just thought, you know, it's good way to get everybody involved, deliver island-wide instead of just Douglas or doing what everybody else is doing. We'll kind of push the boat out and, you know, really try and get it out there. And uh, yeah, it just sort of took off really, <laughs> especially during lockdown because obviously everybody was at home and people wanted to try new things and yeah. maybe be a bit, little bit healthier and stuff. So it was kind of perfect timing for us, to be honest. So are you? De- um, I know you're delivering island-wide to people's homes and obviously that's there were no restaurants and things open during lockdown, but have you started supplying, because this is pretty specialist foods, I mean, have you started supplying dishes to restaurants and stuff like that? Yeah, we have. Uh, we supply to Freshly Squeezed. We have supplied to the eatery in town. Um, yeah, we, yeah, I think there's, there's, a, there's a bit of talk with maybe, we, we might be in shop right soon as well. Yeah. And should be seeing some products on shelves in the next couple of weeks, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's exciting, Absolutely. isn't it? Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. yeah. So when when I ordered, it was obviously back in January, I think, something like that. And I noticed the menu was very much winter vegetable-based. And I saw from your website that you wanted to su- support and buy local vegetables. So I guess that was representative of what you could get locally at the time. Yes. Yeah. Working Off with chickpeas. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um, trying try to keep everything eco-friendly all the packaging compostable and trying to use you know as many local ingredients as possible keep everything yes. manx and that's the main aim here really yeah uh, it's very impressive i we we as a family enjoyed it and the you know the the, the vegan pies they went down <laughs> very well <laughs> oh, no, that's good yeah we tried to make things that were more sort of but foods rather than you know just salads and stuff just things that you know everybody can enjoy um, obviously a lot of our customers are meat, meat eaters anyway which is great so we just want you know we want everybody to enjoy it that's that's the aim really it's trying to change that perception as well that you know vegan food all you eat is just salads or soups or something like that it's you know you can sit down and have a proper wholesome meal yeah so how has the menu evolved since then are you are you, are you doing more than seasonal evolution or are you yeah we just launched vegan sushi uh, about a week or two ago we've got some salads we've got a salad that we're about to release yeah, sort of summer things, we? some summer things coming into like you know the barbecue sort of season so we're trying to uh, bring a few things in for that and we've yeah. got a few things up our sleeves going forward as well right vegan sushi did you say that sounds great yeah, yeah. I'll have to order that that sounds great <laughs> <laughs> okay so um when you came to uh, explore the vegan side Ali what sources of, pardon the pun sources as in s-o-u-r-c <laughs> um wh- wh- where did you where did you go for your research to, to do this was it was it basically basically on what Josh said or did you did you go go outside the the box <laughs> when you go to a kitchen it can be quite overwhelming if you've got so many um different types of ingredients and you you want to make i don't know a number of dishes you can, you can well, I, suppose I, I just was drawing on my experience really for the menu yeah and sort of dining habits i've been a chef for 15 years and i know kind of what people want to eat and just seeing what ingredients i can get all of and knowing what flavors to pair them with and that kind of thing just to get the best out of them lovely it's, so are they are lots of original recipes or have you have you sourced recipes um farther afield uh the, most of them are original recipes and the ones that i have taken are they're not exact carbon copies, the ones I've kind of taken inspiration from. That's super. 
sort of made of my own yeah oh that's great that's uh, yeah. so original vegan recipes it's uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, uh it's great yeah, absolutely <laughs> so so um let, let's move on to the questions that i ask all of my guests if that's okay i mean if you if you don't mind me asking I primarily i ask this in my role which is normally my day as you know you'll note from the, the, the paperwork I sent you beforehand that I'm not a broadcaster I'm a, I'm a financial planner so what I normally ask people when I meet them in, in my role is you know what's your earliest memory of money I'm mean, curious how was money growing up and um, we, we got we got by okay I suppose didn't we yeah we did okay didn't we but yeah. I suppose both of our families like your granddad's always run businesses hasn't he like my mum's yeah. always run businesses my stepdad always has so I guess okay. we've kind of seen from an early age so yeah, I've got you, on your own and trying to make it. So you come from a from a line of small business owners, is what you're saying? Yeah, indeed, yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's that, a isn't it? <laughs> it's definitely a different mindset, yeah. And, and stuff and seeing that and seeing, you know, that I was going to be successful by you know, a bit ago maybe and just wanting to take the plunge, I yeah. think, is the main thing as well. Uh, so how did that mani- manifest in how you how you were allowed to be with around money when you were a kid? Do you remember yeah. getting pocket money or helping count the takings, that sort of thing? Um, we definitely got pocket money, but I'd say we, we'd have to work, have to for, work it. for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that just yeah. handed out then. Yeah. 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 Note to all parents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was no silver spoon yeah. sort of handed, hand, handed out yeah. kind of thing. But I mean, I yeah. guess that taught us our core values didn't it, from a young age. And, um, yeah. you know, we definitely sort of, it, it was as good as it could have got for us when we were younger. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And it definitely got memories of... Yeah. You know, like round your granddad's warehouse, just playing as kids yeah. while people are working, or you know, same with my mum, uh, hanging around. You know, the back of the showroom where she used to sell CCTV from, while she's busy doing some deals or something like that. And yeah, yeah, plenty of time doing that as kids. How oh, brilliant! Thank you. So, um, I mean, of all the things that you've done so far, what's given you the most fulfilment? It's definitely one of them, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big it's... one. I guess just seeing it come together. You know, from starting, yeah, starting in, with a blank page and writing an idea down. Yeah, to, starting in a bit of a you know a student accommodation because everybody <laughs> left at this point because obviously lockdown hit and we had the whole floor to ourselves. Starting from there with just a bit of paper and an idea because I've had the idea for years, you see, but it was just how to how do I bring it to life because I knew I didn't have the skills in the kitchen to do it. You know, I had I had the the other skills. Um, and sort of the marketing skills and stuff but I didn't have you know the skills in the kitchen and then obviously when Ali come along I thought well we've got it here this is yeah. the this is the perfect <laughs> team now <laughs> meant to be yeah to yeah. see it with a bit of paper and now to see it to where it's grown in such a short space of time yeah you know you're walking down the street and people say oh how are you those guys that were mentioned by Sally and it's yeah yeah it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. not few months have been up. Yeah, well, it's the best way for people to find all about you is, is for word of mouth and that's how I heard about you was via Laura McCoy, who was one of my earlier guests from yeah. um, Max, Max National Heritage, and I, she said to yeah, me, "Oh, these, right. these guys are great. I'm order, ordering meals t- through lockdown, and it's uh, you know real treat." So uh, there you go, word of mouth is the best way. So other people who might be listening to you today, who've mm. got an idea about starting their own business, I mean, did you have any other help? To be honest with you, we've got to do a special shout out to our good friend Stuart. Yeah, Stuart Owens, and um, he sort of owns the glamping pods up at Glen Helen. Okay. We bumped into him randomly and met him, um, and he, he's helped us a lot with the website um, and things like yeah, that, and just all really, all, yeah. all around just really helps us move things forward. Uh, so you know we're really grateful for that. If I had to give any advice to anyone, it's take the plunge. You know, in a sense, you've got nothing to yeah. lose. If it doesn't work out, you're in the same position you're in right now. You know, so, there's plenty of help and advice available from the Manx government as well. They're really good for stuff like that. I think you're in the best place in the world for it. If there's a chance of being successful at it. It's definitely here. <laughs> yeah, it's a friendly audience to, to try it on, isn't it? It's a, it's a good thing. <laughs> so supportive as well, the community and stuff. I just, yeah. I've been all around the world. You don't, it's, nowhere's really quite like here, is it? No. In terms of that, which is great. No, they do definitely get behind the world. Starting a business here, don't they? Yeah, it's support cool. their own. <laughs> Ali, do you have a do you have a business tip? Um, play to your strengths, I'd say. You know, in our business, he, he doesn't come and wander into the kitchen and tell me how to cook. I don't come in here and tell him how to do the marketing. You know, we're, we're good at what we do, and just yeah, I'd say that's pretty much it, really. Play to your strengths. It's very that's wise words. Nothing about. Yeah. You know, just do something you're either passionate about or a lot about. Or you're willing to learn, obviously, and, and grow. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you've got the passion for it, you'll get there. Um, but it's. 
when you do that, you never work a day in your life, do you? No. That makes it easy. I mean, we work seven days a week, sometimes till early hours of the morning, but it, it doesn't feel like work because we, we love, we enjoy it. So I think that's key. Wise words. Next question then leads directly onto that, really. What do you do to relax? <laughs> and how do you keep your life in balance? <laughs> it's hard to remember the last time we <laughs> Well, we like the gym, though. When we yeah. get down there, it's just time. All the, you know, the early morning sea dips, that's quite nice. Yeah, yeah. We've um, a friend of ours, and um, he got us into the sea dipping on a morning, which re- really wakes you up and sets you up for the day. <laughs> and we started that in winter. And when we can, we get down there in the morning, and that, that starts yeah. our day quite nicely. Oh, yeah, we, we do like going to the gym and going for runs and stuff like that. Because as you said, you've got to have that balance and look after yourselves as well. That's important. I absolutely do. To fit that in at the very beginning, wasn't it? Because yeah. just adjusting, really, you know, and, and getting into a routine. Because going from not having it to working seven days a week, you know, as you know yourself, it's it's quite a lot. But I mean, it's we love it. So it wouldn't happen the other way, would we? And what would you say are the best things about living on the Isle of Man? I think you know, you, kind of, you kind of covered it before, really. It's the views, I think, just being so close to the elements, you know, having the sea and all the, the, the landscape all in one area, the, the nice walks, the beaches. Yeah, uh, yeah being, it's a beautiful place. Yeah, being in Manchester for sort of three years, uh, you know, it's a, it's a lovely city and everything else, but I definitely missed all that, yeah. that part. Yeah. When I come back, I did really appreciate it a lot more than when yeah. I was. I'm sure. And how, how did you find it, Ali? I mean, you you come from... <laughs> oh, great, yeah, great. Yeah. Up in it's, uh, it's a different here. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit different yeah, for us nice. growing up, wasn't it? It wasn't... Yeah, five minutes from the house, you've got a beach on your doorstep. Five minutes the other way, you've got like a nice glen to go walk down. It's, yes, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. And the privacy, not having, you know, everywhere been so busy and full, you can't move. It's just nice, isn't it? Having some space. <laughs> so what would you say are the main challenges that the Isle of Man faces? The lack of lack of options for plant based eaters for one, but hopefully we're changing the narrative there. <laughs> um, I think we, we do get there here. It just takes a, you know a few more years. We're just a little bit further behind in some aspects, but I kind of like that about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, having the market to ourselves pretty much at the minute, aren't we? <laughs> well, yeah. In essence, yeah. Well. Um, in this particular field of what we're doing, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, it's always nice. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to when there's there's more options and we can actually go out and eat ourselves. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you do enough cooking for everyone else, sometimes you just can't be bothered cooking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You, you don't, you don't, um, I mean, you're, you're offering the vegan equivalent of HelloFresh, really, aren't you, at the moment? In a sense, yeah. yeah I suppose so, yeah. 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 When you get home, it's, you know, it's already cooked for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big opportunity for you. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. Oh, and so, so what have you got planned next? How is how is the business going to evolve from here? Well, we've just secured a facility in Balafane, you know, by Cast- Castletown. Balafane, yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, and as I said, yeah, it's just hopefully going to upscale now, upscale production and volume yeah. and, you know, start supplying more wholesale, really, to more outlets around around the island and let more people enjoy our, our food. We've had a lot of customers messages from other parts of the island asking, are we going to get into any shops and stores? And just to make it a little bit easier and accessible for them, really, as well. Yeah, That's the next goal. And then sort of after that. We're starting to do a bit more on the uh, the functions and things like that. We've already done a few for a few people, a couple of birthday parties and yoga retreats and things like that. And uh, starting to do a little bit more of that side of things as well. Yeah. And how is the, how is the menu going to evolve? Are you going to put more summer summary sort of salady things on or yeah there will be over the next few weeks some more of those coming on the website and not just moving with the seasons but as we expand and get more ability to produce right more, more things to the menu as well we've got a couple of things in mind it's just having really the time and the space to do it and what local suppliers are you working with are you working with any farmers directly or and not you... at the minute simply because it's having to do all the shopping and the cooking myself i don't have time to get around to them there are some local producers that we're going to be working directly with. I mean, we get our oil from Ellerslie Farm and things like that, and uh, flour from Laxey Flour. And uh, our herbs at the moment we're getting from Starley Farm. But we tend to buy all these things from Robinsons because they're sort of grouped into one place. Yeah, I'm all there. Yeah, so it's great, there. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the final few questions then. Anything you've read recently that's self-development, inspirational, or just a good read? Anything that you'd like to share with our listeners? Yeah, there's definitely one. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's one by Napoleon Hill. It's called um, Think and Grow Rich. 
I know uh, it. Good book. Yeah, and we both read a bit of that every day. It's single. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. it's the best book I've ever read anyway. It's just so motivational and inspiring. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I would definitely recommend that. Um, you know, especially if you, you already know about the law of attraction, because uh, obviously I'm a, I'm a big believer in that, as, as is Ali. Yeah. Um, when I got him onto that sort of, um, he, he took that on pretty well, didn't you? Yeah, well, I've even <laughs> got the audio book now. I listen to it while I'm cooking now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Audible. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's very good to, to keep learning, evolving, um, you know, and just anything that's going to motivate you, and, and especially books like that, um, they definitely will They'll get you into your mindset, um, which is obviously a big part of it. Yeah. Favourite quotes? Quotes. Ooh. Ooh. Really giving us the questions now. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I know some people thought we're insane. I like the one that the difference between genius and insanity is measured only by success. That's good. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that is very good. Thank you. And and so where can people go to learn more about you and what you're up to? I mean, you've got the website we mentioned earlier. What's the website? Veg and Vitality. Vmeals.com. Yeah. Vnvmeals.com. And that's just got a little bit about us. uh, Yeah. What we do. Nice pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously (laughs) the products and everything else. You can always uh, follow us on Facebook, just Veg and Vitality. Yeah. Uh, where we keep you up to date with everything that's going on there as well. Yeah. And you on both on, I see you on, one of you's on LinkedIn and then you've got a Facebook page, haven't you? So, yeah. 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 On shopping. Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn as well, um, which is sort of the business side of things that I use on there, which is, which is, a uh, you know, quite a good one. Yeah. Are you going on Instagram or is that something yeah, you've got going? Yeah, on Instagram as well. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, if you send us all those links, we'll put them in the show notes so that our listeners can go and click on there and check you out for themselves. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, I think that's about it, really. Um, but I mean, it's been really great to get to know all about you and, you know, learn about your journey and how you've got here. How exciting. And, uh, you know, congratulations on where you've got to so far. Uh, and thanks, thanks very much. much. Thanks for having us, Sharon. We've uh, really enjoyed it. Thanks for your time. Thank you for listening to this episode of Island Influencers from Thornton Chartered Financial Planners. To find out more and for useful links, visit thorntonfs.com slash podcasts.